What's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today I want to show you how to convert shapefile to uh, DWG and uh, DWG back to shapefile. And I'll be showing you in both uh, ArcGIS and uh, AutoCAD Civil 3D. So before I even open up the any of the softwares, let me show you, let's have a look at the data that we'll be using today. So for ArcGIS, uh, we have shape file here. This is the shape file that we will be using. And then uh, this is just an empty uh, a folder that will be storing the shape file that you have converted uh, to DWG. So moving to Civil 3D, so I have uh, this plotting that will be converting to a uh, shape file. So having said that, let's let's now start with the uh, ArcGIS. So the moment you open up ArcGIS, you are going to add uh, this shape file, uh, this Kiambu shape file. So just add uh, the data that you have. So I'm going to open to add up that uh, data and uh, let's do some changes here. Let's make it hollow and then uh, the out, outline width, uh, I like using 1.5 and uh, the color, let's make the color purple. So Let's open the attribute table to see what's what we have here. There's nothing. And uh, we can also look at the coordinate system. Uh, so coordinate system is also an important aspect when you are converting, you are doing the conversion of, from shapefile to uh, DWG. So now is, you can see that uh, for this case, my data is in Universal Transfer, Transverse Mercator and uh, Zone 37 South. Uh, so in order to convert this to uh, a DWG, uh, on the attribute, on the table of content, just right click on the uh, shape file and then go to data, then click on uh, export data. And then uh, you should navigate to the where you want to store your your card. Uh, so this is the empty folder that I showed you, and I want to store that data here. Uh, okay, uh, let's 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 do this. Just open up the Arc Toolbox. I go to Conversion Tools. And then uh, convert to card. So open up the uh, tool uh, arc toolbox, go to conversion tools, and then go to uh, select the to card. Then export to card. Double click on export to card. Uh, the input feature is the shape file that you want to convert. And uh, And then uh, the output file, the, the output type, just uh, leave it as default. The output file is the location where you want to store uh, the card that you have converted. So I'm going to convert to store it inside uh, the, empty the empty folder that I showed you earlier. And I'm going to say uh, Kiambu card this time it's Kiambu card not shape file and then click save and click ok so you can see uh, it's still processing and it's complete now if you move up back to uh, to table of content you can see now we have uh, all this uh, so you can see that uh, it 
we have a lot of files here let's let's try and see what's inside the autocad what's inside this folder so let's try and go to let's go to autocad let's open up autocad and try to open up this uh, card that we just converted so go to file and click open and then uh, go to kiambu dwg and then open so you can see uh, this now this is the drawing uh, this is the drawing that has just been converted and it's the same the same one here that we have so we can right click and remove the card from out from the arcgis but uh, you can see uh, it is the same one that we've just converted to autocad so uh, now uh, you can see now that's that's the process from uh, from arcgis to uh, to, uh, to autocad and uh, let's now uh, let me minimize this so if we if we if we remove this if we remove that and then go to let's say we want to import this uh, autocad into civil uh, 3 into uh, ArcMap. so just go to let's 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 see the conversion tool uh, from now oh, okay so we don't have that in inside here so what to do we can we can just uh, add data go to the card and add the card then uh, you can remove every uh, you can delete uh, you can just did or with, you can just delete everything and remain with the with the polyline or you can just go to polyline and then uh, right click right click and then uh, export now we are converting uh, this card to shape file go to uh, desktop uh, let's give it let's let's have uh, let's say dwg to to card dwg to <coughs> shape file map like that <coughs> uh, let's give it an, a new name Kiambu date and then click save yes uh, not Kiambu data uh, okay I thought I thought we created a new folder so just uh, okay right there then click save uh, click yes if now delete this you can see now we have our shape file back so you can see now uh, we, have, we have converted the same data back to uh, shape file from card now uh, let's let's now uh, get rid of this let's remove that and then now let's convert let's see the same process now using uh, AutoCAD and we are going to use another uh, drawing 
let me just open up a new drawing so kiambu dwg now we are going to open up a uh, card let's say you now you, you now have card you want to convert to shape file uh, so let, let's i intended to let's open up juja farm now uh, let's convert this to a shape file using uh, let's convert this now to shape file using a uh, civil 3d so in order to convert uh, any drawing to shape file in civil 3d uh, you just type uh, map just type a command map export but before you can even uh, export this drawing let's first of all define the uh, coordinate system type uh, map uh, cs assign map cs assign and click enter now we are defining the coordinate system of this particular drawing we saw that uh, it's in universal transverse marketer under zone 37 south so i'm going to search here just i'm going to tap type uh arc so this the keyword is arc 1960 utms on 37 south and then click assign now uh, having assigned that we can now export now just type map first of all uh let's let's see if you can type list you can see now this is a polyline okay so now you can export type map export map export and click enter so you navigate to where you want to store your navigate to the place where you want to store uh, your share file so it's in desktop go to desktop and uh, see what 3d we can now create another folder and say uh, shape file juja farm let's call it juja from uh, ship like so and then you give it a name uh, like that and then uh, the file type uh, you need to select make sure that you select a3 shape file and click ok so the object type we saw that uh, it's polyline polygon not polygon it's a, a line select line and uh, click ok now if you open up save that if you minimize that and open uh, this folder that we just created you can see now we have uh, these files now let's try and open that uh, in ArcMap so go to juja farm folder see what 3d folder then go to juja farm shape file and open up you can see now we have uh, this AutoCAD you can see we have this DWG now in shape file and if you inspect that open attribute go to properties and look at uh, go to source tab you can see now uh, the coordinate system is uh, utm so what if now we want to convert this this shape file into autocad into dwg using autocad now assuming now you don't have this you want to convert a shape file into 
uh, into DWG. So what to do is to just uh, type type a command, type map import, and click enter, and then go to the shape file that you want to convert to DWG. So our file is in desktop. Uh, go to Juja Farm. Simo 3D then Juja Farm shape files. So this is shape file that we converted earlier. So click. Then uh, you can you can select data here, but it's not it's not that important. I can select. Yeah, don't have field to select, but if you have fields that you want to include, you can simply click click on this, and then select the fields. But the most important. Uh, a selection that you need to make is to click on this import polygons as closed polylines make sure that i insist again uh, make sure that you, you you click you check this import polygons as closed polylines and then click ok now uh, you, if you want to display your drawing just type ze for zoom extend and it, it enter now we have our drawing back converted uh, from shape file to dwg so ladies ladies and gentlemen that's how uh, how to convert uh, dwg to shape file and shape file to dwg using both uh, arcgs and civil 3d i hope uh, you've learned something today and uh, see you in the next tutorial